This is a story about three pioneers. Meet engineer Henry, electrician Nicola, and explorer who calls himself Dr. Jones. They work together as a team to complete their common objective, to satisfy the Fixit R&D department by kickstarting coal power production and tier 2 part automation. By the end of this video, you will feel like this was the most wasted 5 minutes of your life. I promise. So sit back and enjoy. The story begins with Dr. Jones preparing for the exploration by researching and constructing a Xenobesha and dumpster diving. Since an encounter with dangerous fauna is expected, Simple Zapper wouldn't cut it anymore. This enables Dr. Jones to collect all useful resources the planet has to offer as he heads straight towards the quartz. And there is a good reason for that. Can you guess which activity you do most of the time is satisfactory? Building power plants? Nope. Expanding transportation and logistics? Nope. Rebuilding the entire factory because you made one mistake in calculation during planning? Close, but no. It's walking. In this game you walk a lot. And Dr. Jones knows he can significantly speed up game progress by walking faster. That's where Blade Runners come in. Some of you might wonder, haven't I just said Quartz research? Blade Runners have always been in the Caterium research tree. Well, guess what? Update 6 came and things will never be the same. If you don't feel like setting up an entire production chain just for research sake, Dr. Jones has a solution at hand. He recommends to take some portable miners, MEM and craft bench with you. This enables you to set up your own portable exploration site. Sometimes the game likes to play tricks with us, honest pioneers. You would think that you have to blow these rocks up, when all you need is just to crouch and take the slug. And you need better power poles, oh my god you need them, so you can save yourself from building an army of them. Caterium research is gonna save you. And while at it, why not to set up some sinking of leftover production for awesome points, said Dr. Jones as he heard the hissing sound coming from the crusher. It will run on biomass power for now, but until the biomass is depleted it will generate some coupons, he strategized. Wait, who is pushing those buttons on hub terminal? Look, it's the electrician, Nicola. Already full hands-on preparation for automated power generation. But before we hand it over to him, Dr. Jones has one last piece of advice. You can't sync items or see how many points you generate while awesome sync is unpowered. But you can still print coupons and have fun with them in awesome shop. Isn't that awesome? As a responsible electrician, Nicola wants to make the power plant look somewhat presentable. And is there a better way to make a power plant stand out more than with custom foundations and pillars? After all, we can't let coupons that Dr. Jones diligently provided go to waste, can we? From previous experience, Nicola knows about a place where two key ingredients, coal and water, are in abundance. Let's follow him. Nicola heads over to the lake to check out what has to be done before building first foundations. It's time to prep the area, says Nicola, while pulling out the chainsaw to destroy any wilderness, standing in the way of progress. Since there was a lot to cut down, the night fell over the lake. That doesn't stop Nicola from laying down power poles on his way back home, to fetch required resources. Noticing shiny yellow slug, Nicola immediately calls his fellow pioneer. Dr. Jones, calling Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones comes carrying world traverser tools. The slug will be snatched in a wink.
or so he thought. While Dr. Jones is busy trying to reach the slack, Nikola wasted no time in preparation for power plant construction, as they, meaning satisfactory wiki, say, the optimal ratio of coal power plants to water extractors is 8 to 3. Where am I going to get so many resources? wondered Nikola. 4 to 1 ratio will have to do it, said Nikola in capitulation. Power dips caused by water shortage can be handled by biomass burners. And so Nikola began to build. First, he laid down foundations. Then he built coal generators. And finally, he connected generators to coal and water sources. Done. Unstable power network is now operational. About time, shouted the engineer Henry, as he was getting ready to put newfound power to use. And so he began by dismantling and refactoring temporary supply chains, following by placing foundations and machines, just to realize we are running out of power again, so Nikola came to help, 8 coal generators, good job Nikola, and still research is finished, the end.